Good afternoon, this is man all the way George Page, aka the Emperor of WMMA Talk, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Shout out to a lady who I've been acquainted with for some time ago. Um, I did an interview um, this summer with her, and this is one Miss Danielle, as I, I like to call her, Danielle Game Over Win. Now, um, Danielle just uh, posted on her Facebook that she's touched down in, in Myrtle Beach. If you don't know, Danielle has a fight coming up this Friday. And it's going to be part of the Next Level Championship number 12. And this will be her first fight in a while. And this is an opportunity for you to probably get a win in her MMA, um, you know, rankings. Now, a while back I did a video where Danielle was supposed to have a fight um, this past October. It was going to be part of Nightmare on Courtland Street. It was going to be held in the Shelton, Sheraton, uh, Atlanta Hotel. She was over against um, Maria Rios, a former Bellator fighter, but something happened. Uh, the details is that the state commission canceled the fight. And, you know, I don't know who, all the details of why the fight were canceled, but Danielle was kind of disappointed. It was an opportunity to maybe get a win and also to bounce back after her, um, her last fight. And, you know, her upcoming fight is going to be in Myrtle Beach, which is um, a good ways where I live at. You know, like I said, where I live at is so like border to South Carolina, and Myrtle Beach is like like about an hour away from where I live. You know, and um, this is gonna be a fight which is gonna be on um at NL NLFC twelve, and her opponent is gonna be Fatini Tiny uh Kildress, Kendris Kendris I think sorry, <laughs> and um Miss Kendris has been fighting for a good while as an amateur. And this would be her debut fight. Now, from her record, it's like, I think her record is 5-9. and nine, And this is an opportunity to debut, probably with a win. They'll be both fighting 135, which is the weight that, you know, um, you know, Danielle fights at. And, you know, and I hope this is, like I said again, I'm a fan of Danielle. And, as a, you know, I call it game over because uh, a while back in one of her last fights, you know, she was wearing these uh, 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 briefs. I like to say, <laughs> uh, and they had game over across of them. And I said, you know, that should be, your, that, I told her that should be your, um, your nickname. She said, well, somebody had to give you a nickname, but you know what? I give it to you. And I think, you know, you should use it. But like I said, um, you know, um, you know, a Fatini, you know, a Fatini, if I got a name right. Um, she's from New York, but she lives in Myrtle Beach. So that's pretty good. You know, um, a lady, uh, and Mary Fighter lives like close to me in, in my backyard. I reached out to her on her IG about a possible future interview. I love to interview all of these ladies who are fighting MMA and get their um, thoughts. As you know, um, Danielle's um, last win was with um, Game Bread um, Fighting. That's some um, Jorge um, Masvidal's uh, company. And it was a bare knuckle fight. And she won that fight. But, you know, they don't count as, you know, you look at typology, you don't count as a, like, like a MMA fight. But it's MMA, but it's bare knuckle. But like I said, um, this is an opportunity for um, uh, Fantini uh, to, uh, you know, uh, climb up into the uh, into a big show like um, uh, NLFC and to gain to experience as a, as a pro fighter. But like I said, I'm a fan of um, Danielle Wynn, and I hope she wins. And like I said, I will, you know, if if um. Miss uh, Kendris wins. You know, that's no um, skin off my nose. You know, a win is a win for anybody, especially if you're debuting. But I think, like I said again, Danielle can really use this win. She, you know, she deserves it. She's a great young person. She's a, she has a great future in MMA. You know, I hope this is something that maybe get her career farther up and stepping. I wish somebody give women like her opportunity, even though they look at her record and say she's 0-3. But she's a good fighter. And I think she has a good talent for fighting. It's just about you know you look at the you look at the losses you get you look at the, the opponent and compare the the fight and the fighter you know but like I said um she was saying that she was hoping that I was able to make it but the thing is like I said I live on a budget the costs are, you know there and back you know it can really uh, take a strain on you but what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch the fight on uh, it's going to be um stream live I'm going to watch it and support her she says she wanted to, after the fight she wanted to get a few drinks. I would love to, I don't drink, but I'd love to, you know, spend some time with her, have a nice little dinner, and a great conversation with her. I think she's a great young lady, and I hope she has a great future in MMA. So anyway, it's going to be on NLFC, um, Next Fighting Level um, Championship 12. It's The door is going to be um, open at 6 o'clock, and it's going to be at the Myrtle Beach Sports Center. 
Now, if you follow my channel, you live in the Myrtle Beach area. If you live in South Carolina, go check out this fight. Support Daniel Will. Daniel Wynn. You know, support all MMA fighters. Like I said, MMA, it doesn't get as much respect compared to boxing. And you know what? These fighters are fighting it. You know, they're not making as much money as they should. You know, so if you're the type of person who is a fan of um, mixed martial arts, you're a fan of, of good fights, go check it out. You know, um, watch it, support the fighters. Um, reach out to these fighters. If you, if you, like this one thing, if you are a sponsor who love the fighter, up and coming fighter, this is a great place to start. You know, you know, some of these fighters can really use the support and financial support. Anyway, this is me all the way at George Page, aka the Emperor of WMA Talk. Like, don't like, subscribe, don't subscribe. I'm out.